everyone, welcome back to Flying Princess Plays Final Fantasy IX. Okay, so last episode we um, we got everyone to go to the shrines, and we um, we found out where we have to go next, and we have to go to the Shimmering Island, and here we are. So let's go in now. Let's get straight into it. Mr. Ziding, I'm showing abnormal readings. It feels like the ship is getting sucked in. Sunday, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we going to bust in on the airship? All we know is that this is the entrance. I hear the people of Estel Gaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate like the one in Kucha's hideout. Mr. Ziding, we're going to get sucked in. What should I do? What now, Siding? We may not be able to turn back. All right then, keep moving forward. We're going out on the deck. What do you mean? If Anna is right, we can jump to the teleporter. From this height? We'll be fine, considering all that we've been through. This is nothing. True that. All right, let's do this. Love this scene. It's so cool. Woo! <laughs> Look at Steiner. All right, yes, I love that shot. That shot is so cool. This place is like one of the trippiest places in the game, I'll tell you. I don't know if it's trippier than the Chocobo thing. That was pretty trippy. It's trippy getting there, but this is very close. And right, I could rival it. <clears throat> could this be Terra? What's this light? Could it be... So, you finally came. The time has come at last. The one who- who the heck are you? Ask my name, will you? Then let us ask. What is your name? Me? My name is- what is your name? Hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you my name. So you believe a given name has meaning? Boy, you have been bewitched by the light of the blue moon. What do you know? You must be from Terra. You know nothing, and that is all. Come and see for yourself. See what Terra is and what you are. Uh, hey, hang on! He's gone. Siding! Bayonet, are you alright? Yes, everyone's fine. Come, let's hurry. Terra. Hey! Come back! Girl who strangely looks like I do? <laughs> Hey, wait up! What's your problem? Where'd she go? Who are you? You don't remember anything, do you? 
Follow me and you will understand us. And maybe your own heritage as well. Uh... Hey, wait, hold on a sec. Once you go on, you'll see. My gosh, this girl's a creep. All right, okay. What the heck? What is this place? It looks really artificial. So different than before. Yeah, but it doesn't seem very lively. Welcome home. This is where you belong. The place to which you shall offer yourself. It's here. Brand Bal. Hold on a second. What the heck are you talking about? What the... Whoa. Oh, oh, she's gonna have another s oh, another fainting spell. She goes through a lot of these in this game, doesn't she? Baronet, wake up! Baronet! Damn it, what the heck is going on? You are completely oblivious. Just like a newborn child. You don't know why you are given life, or for what purpose you exist. You simply shout to emphasize your life, your own existence. You are completely oblivious. We gotta find a place for her to rest. Siding, leave the princess to me. You must go bring Colin to her at once. Not sure if I read that word right. <laughs> yeah, right. There's gotta be some place around here. Watch over her, Steiner. I'll be right back. I think I read the wrong. Oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, right. Huh. Wow. I am out of it today. <clears throat> Watch over for Steiner. I'll be right back. What's going on? Everyone has a tail. And their hair is just like mine. Oh, Trippy. Hey, what are you guys up to? You look like a kid to me. We possess no age. We were built this way. Hey, is there a place around here to get some rest? Why do you rest? Why don't you guys go to sleep at night? Not that I see right now, but... By night? Do you mean the condition in which light recedes? Look, I don't have time for an interview. Where can I find an inn? There is the entrance. Right there, huh? Gotcha. This looks like a good place for Bayonet to get some rest. But what's up with everyone here? They're all so... stiff. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this place. Well, first things first, I gotta bring Bayonet back here. Excuse me! Do you have any medicine? Hello? Is there a place I can buy some medicine around here? Hello? I'm asking if you have any medicine? Ugh! How come this place is full of weirdos? Everyone has tail like Zidang. Uh, if only I could find some Pimbo Pimbo herbs. I can make some makeup powder for her. But is this my lucky day? No! 
Huh? Found ya! You're that girl, right? It's your fault Bayonet collapsed, you know. Oh, never mind. Say, don't you have any mess at all? She will soon awaken. How do you know? Where is your man? M my man? My man? Are you talking about Zining? Even I never called him that. But too bad for you, he and Bayonet are super hot for each other. You don't have a chance with him. Tell him I'm waiting in the underground laboratory. Oh, the nerf! What makes you think I taught him that? Hey, where do you think you're going? What a bimbo. Uh-oh, I have time for this. Drain it. Princess, why must you suffer more? Damn it. What is the matter, Zyding? You haven't been yourself at all. What the heck do you mean, I haven't been myself? I'm sorry. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... I just can't concentrate with this blue light. Uh -huh. Princess, you've awoken! What made you lose consciousness so suddenly? I remembered. Remembered what? It wasn't a storm that destroyed Medane Suri. It was... It was the eye on that airship that destroyed Medane Suri. You remember, don't you? The eye was also there when Alexander was leveled. Yes, there was a large eye in the sky above from which the light emanated. Now that you mention it, it was there when Muhammad went wild at the Ipa tree. Yes, it was there in the sky. It must be the same airship. What? Then that must be the ship that stood Her Majesty! Rusty. Oh, I'm sorry, Princess. Don't worry about it. I've already come to terms with that. That ship took everything from me. It took away my parents, my homeland, Alexandra, everything. How terrible. Bayonet, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still pale. You gotta rest. Hmm, how come everyone looks so pale? What's wrong? No need to be concerned. A strange place. Such as this is caused enough for exhaustion. Oh. Hey! Where are you going, Zining? Oh, that's right. That weird girl, the girl that led us here, said something strange again. She said she was waiting for you in some underground laboratory. What a pervert. Damn. Zining? A planet shimmer is breath a sign of life activity caused by the circling of souls. So slow, as the planets turn. Bleeding knowledge is useless to vessels, but information is given to prevent mental family. There she is. Oh, so that's what's going on. Jeez, I should have guessed. So this is what you want to show me? Yes. I am glad you understand. I don't want to understand. Sorry, but I'm not like that. I mean, all these guys with tails who look just like me. You're a bunch of zombies. They are my peers. We are genomes. We live in this village. Genomes? Is that what they're called? Not just them, but you and me too. It is the name of the seed given to all of us. Its name is Genome. Talk about a letdown. Who would have guessed that the home I yearned for would be a dump like this? No wonder I never found it. It's not even on Gaia. Why are you not happy? You have returned to the place of your birth. Happy? You guys can process that emotion? Look at him. Look at all their blank faces. What can we do? After all, we are made that way. And we are built to watch over each other and work together as soulless genomes. Jeez. 
That's silly, sad, and depressing you say it like that, my friend. What's it all for? Get to the point already. How come I grew up in Gaia if I was born here? I'm alive. I have a soul. Why is everyone here so... Because you are special. What? We are mere vessels. You have been given a greater purpose. The will of Garland is absolute. Garland? Who's that? Garland watches over this planet. His mission is to restore the people of Terra. Restore the people of Terra? You mean people besides these guys are here? They are merely vessels. So am I, and so are you. But the true people of Terra have been asleep for ages, waiting for their time to come. When the time is right, the light of this planet will change from blue to red, and Gaia will become Terra. Wait a sec. So the people of Terra are out to take over Gaia? What else can there be? Terra has always absorbed into planets to survive. And when the time comes, the souls of the people of Terra will occupy the genomes, such as the restoration of people of Terra. Why do they have to be so tedious? You know, they just wipe us out with magic like they did Alexandra. Once Garland tried to use a more forceful method, but failed. Then he should just quit and leave Gaia alone. Because of his failure, he was forced to wait a long time. To wait until Gaia's civilizations gained tremendous power, the power to use Eidolons. So that's why you attacked the Summoner's Village and destroyed Alexandra. Planets have a cycle of souls. Souls are born from the planet, and then return to it. Garland planned to gain control of that very cycle. And you were supposed to help him achieve that. What? Garland is waiting for you. Come. What do you think you're doing? I don't care about all this Terra and Gaia stuff. Sidex is back yet? And with Bayna not feeling well, I wonder where he is. Iko. No, Bayna, you can't get up yet. I'm all right. Listen, I want to ask you a favor. Oh? Just tell me. I'll get right on it. I want you to go find Zaide. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, I get it. You're getting jealous. No, I'm not. It's just I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. Alright. I'll go get him. So you just stay here and rest. Ah, uh, ah. What a big stone. Why you all bought stone? Is stone edible? Or is it for barbecue? No answer. I think I lick it. You know answer, so you don't mind, right? Oh my gosh. Um, it's very salty. Oh, what's that? What are you doing here, Zaiden? Huh? Oh, hi, Queena. You stand here, say nothing, then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has a double somewhere. There are so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. Zaiden, what matter? You know thing yourself. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I'm always myself. Besides, it's not just me. You look like your master, too. Of course. Master Quell and Kill Clan. We same. Yeah? I guess everyone looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm. Maybe you're right. What do you say? Same race? Excuse me. So, um... What do you guys do here? Hmm... Oh, yeah. This blue light sure is pretty, isn't it? So unresponsive. They really can carry on a good conversation, can't they? 
You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh. Really? Huh? It's that girl. Hmm. Hey, Ziding. What are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, Vivi? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you just an answer. Oh. But I think I can get through to them. Huh. I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but... I... I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... No, no. Not like that. There are a lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship in Clara. Of course, we don't look alike at all, but I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Not hollow, huh? That's an interesting analogy. Hey, where are you going, Zidane? Zidane? Well, hey, you want to be rude, man? This way. He's Zidane. What do you want? What? That's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some mean mothers down here, but they're all a bunch of wimps. No challenge, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Amarant. Can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is the face of a guy I had to fight. I only found meeting in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense. All due to my wonderful influence. Psh, what do you want me to do? Thank you? Please, you're gonna make me sick. How about you? What? You mean my parents? I don't have parents. Wow. That's harsh. Harshy my mellow, Zidang. Oh, you do. What happened to Zidang? He seemed much worried. I don't know. He just left without saying a word. We got left with Zidane together. Hey, where are you taking me? I told you, you are going to see Garland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See? You may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep, and the floating castle where souls bid their time until restoration. Plandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am an enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives, then... Then I want to take care of this little family and matter myself. Ugh, what a martyr. Say, Amarant, does I need to go this way? Yeah, seems so. He had a real serious look on his face. I knew something was wrong. Gonna go look for him, right? Huh? I'm trying to say I'll go with you. Catch my drift. Hey, he goes. I just went. You saw Zining? Uh, yeah. Hello? Why didn't you stop him? Huh? Uh, how come? He was acting kind of strange. If you're looking for him, I'll go with you.
Yeah! Oh, this girl here. Now you listen to me! Where did you take Zayden? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Oh, that's a sinister name! But Zayden wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went... Yes. He went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar! That's a terrible lie! I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. We, we gotta tell the others! Heaven grant the wanderer's souls eternal repose. So this must be Garland's haunted mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. All right, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. So we meet again. Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up! No one tells me what to do! And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down! But first, you're gonna tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia, and why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of Terra has not yet come. Ah, oh my gosh, all those cool powers. I may need your help anyway. Gosh, this guy. This guy. Stop! Ah, oh, just jump! <laughs> Wish I could glide like him. Now tell me everything. I constructed the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a genome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yeah, so tell me who he is already. Do you not yet know? You and he are so much alike. Alike? I never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your brother. And his name is Kuja. Kuja? He's a genome. Possible. He doesn't even have a tail. He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. So he's insecure. Gotcha. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up! I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. His ambition was unbecoming of a genome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. 
to bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then, why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. Oh my gosh. This is so much, so much gone down someone's throat all at once here. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Bran Bao, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a genome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave? Just like Kuja? To start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that is why the blood of thousands had to be spilled? Are you referring to Kuja's ambition, or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! What exactly do you gain by disrupting the cycle of souls, or whatever? Gosh, there's a savage guy out here! I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work up as a whole, thus far. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone and Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Ifa tree and the mist it emits. Oh yeah? But we stopped the mist, so much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Ifa tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? And what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet, the end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to chrism, all will belong to Terra, and its distortion will be complete. That is why I am wrapped up the light to the Ipa tree to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Ipa tree's true purpose, its true form. All you saw was its material form. So, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Ipha? Yes, my angel of death. But only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next after all. You mean you won't need Kucha's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Oh, yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shed with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power if I only had a place to call home. My brother is in Tadlis, Vivi, Freya, Amrant, Quina, Steiner, Eco, and Panette. My home is with them and Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. 
I am the new angel of death, yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up! I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel, which creates a new soul. What's happening? Oh, crap. Daddy! He's too good to make into a regular genome. But I have no choice. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but... Soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland, and you too, Zidane. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know anything. I cannot think at all. Exciting. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people call me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless medicine! Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Zidane. Yeah, right. I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No. I don't know anything. You call that friendship? Friendship. Friendship? Siding! I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Siding. I'm so tired. Come here, we so. I. I am. an empty vessel. Signing! Who. Wake up, signing! Who. Come on, signing, wake up! Ah. Uh. Signing! Vivi. Eco. Goodness, you're alive! We thought you were dead! Oh, I... We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? We came to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Okay, no, Zidane. Oh, come on! Zidane, you're being a jerk. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Zidane, it's not just about you. Come on, Zidane. Don't be like that, let's... Shut up. Just shut up, you stupid brat. Well, okay, no one calls my boy a brat, okay? Fuck you, Zidane. I know you're going through some stuff, but you can't... You don't say that to, to, to Vivi. You don't say that. It's not okay. Uh. Zidane? Zidane? Zidane, wait up! You need rest, Zidane? Will you little twits just shut up? There are some things kids can understand. 
Ah, Jesus. Sick music, though. Love this song. I don't love that thing. Looks like you need some help. All right. Did you get him? Ah, oh, nope. Didn't get him yet. Talk to you soon. You just had to have. A, can't you even take care of yourself? That guy just had to have like one last hit. Okay. Thanks for joining in, Imran. Ooh, that was a very loud scream into my ears there. How foolish of you to go alone. Damn, hypocrite. Always talk about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Zidane! Unbelievable. Ugh. Ah! I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad, I cook you good. Steiner, Queena, what are you doing? How do you just have to take this? <laughs> I don't like how they cover each other's bubbles, speech bubbles, I can't read it. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Ew. That's a needle! <laughs> you guys. You're late, side day. Yeah! <laughs> what an unworthy opponent. Darling, you know can leave us. I still want you to take me plates with lots of food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for her highness, mind you. God, Zidane, you are being rude today. Just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Ah, Jesus. Come on. You're all a bunch of babysitting bastards. Wow. They're your friends! But trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. Ugh. This part's so sad, it kills me, dudes. Whoa! Okay, that did the trick! Alright. Grand lethal, this shell dragon. Hope he doesn't kill me. I probably should heal before doing this. Oh, uh, I'm still okay. I can do it. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. Let's take a chance to do it one more time. Grand lethal. Oh, okay, yep. Oh, that might be a bad call. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. <gasps> oh, okay. No, I, I'm not gonna take a chance this time. I'm gonna heal myself. Better safe than sorry, dudes. Oh, that's it? That's not very much. Okay, let's do it again. Grand Lethal. Uh-oh. This guy's a beast!
Whoa! Oh, oh, it's the girl! It's my princess! Bayonet. Is this how you want to solve the problem? Alright, let's do this. Woohoo, damn. Oh, that's a lot. Bayonet. You try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand. I don't want to cause trouble to anyone. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so. That's why I've always... Look, I'm not from Gaia. I was just a hairbreadth from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't even accept your friendship so easily. You've always protected us. But you still don't understand that we looked out for you too. We watched your back while you watched ours. And we believed in you the same way you believed in us. Just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Bayonet. You say it. My master tell me somebody gives you tasties, you give them tasties too. It's good manners. I still not cook you the little frog yet, side thing. Queena. Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you. And I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. <laughs> bromance. Yeah. Feel, feel me with that bromance. Steiner. Huh. What am I going to do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. All right, let's go. Wait, where are the four others? Oh, well, you were kind of a dick to, to them earlier. You don't think they've been trapped? It's possible. You should have not left them. That's right. I mean, really. Aw. I'm sorry. Let's have back together this time. Siding! Siding? Why'd you leave us? I'm sorry if I yelled at anyone's ear there. That was really loud. I apologize. I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So you've had a change of heart. What a busy guy coming, going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right! A Moogle followed me all the way from Barbrow. Just tell me if you need to rest, Kubo. How convenient. Alright. Now you can work our way out of this depressing castle. Heh. <laughs> this whole episode's been depressing. Cause we're all together now. Well, everyone, uh, I think, uh, that's that. Um... That was a very sad, depressing episode. I think that there's something back here. Let me just check before I go. And so something on that chair, because I remember there's something being there, right? Yeah, I was right! Okay! <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that was very sad, depressing episodes. I learned a lot about himself, and he had some self-doubt, and was kind of mean to his friends, but his friends are his friends. And friends fight, and then they forgive each other, because they love each other. And that's that. So it's all good. We're all good now. We're all friends now. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Sub to me if you like what you saw. You want to see more of my content. I also have a playlist of the other times I have played Final Fantasy IX. If you want to catch up on those. Bye everybody. And thanks for watching.